Limerick, Montana was almost exactly like every other frontier community, except dismaler. It really might as well have been called Bullock, Montana. Bear Bullock owned practically everything, including the citizens who divided their lives between working for Bullock or moping or both. In less than two years, Bullock had taken over everything. That's Bullock. Once a pretty decent man, though bearish, of course, and bullheaded. But for the past two years, he had been ruling Limerick as though he were some kind of a king. He even had a real castle brought over from Europe to Montana, stone by stone. He had somebody to keep the peasants in line. A hired gunfighter named Killer Kissick did Bullock's enforcing. The mayor, Skaggle, had a sweet daughter named Betsy and another daughter named Gwenda. Whatever Gwenda was, it wasn't sweet. The Skaggle couldn't do anything with Gwenda. Neither could King Bear the first. And there were people who thought maybe Gwenda could explain why Bullock had turned into a tyrant. People actually came to think of Bullock as a king who lived in royal luxury, his tyranny supported by the royal henchman, Killer Kissing. As long as Kissick was around, the people of Limerick might as well have been living in the 1490s instead of the 1890s. They began to think of themselves as peasant serfs under the heel of a royal despot. After all, against armed and mounted mercenaries, what have simple peasants ever been able to do?